All right, dermal infiltrate is something. How did you get to that so quickly? Very well done. How did you know? Fried eggs, boy, you got good eyes. There are two types of dermal infiltrate that tend to fill the papillary dermis. Mastocytosis and what? Yeah, Langerhans histocytosis. And what's the easy way, even without cytology? I know fried eggs, grooves, coffee beans, but what on low power can tell you the difference between those two, usually? Yes, kind of, yes. But there's a reason for that. These cells are totally in the dermis. They are completely well, respecting. And Langerhans normally live in the epidermis. It's their home. They're just like, hey, guys, what's up? And they can go right through that basement membrane somehow and get up into the epidermis because that's where they live. Like in Happy Gilmore, like the ball goes to its home. Okay, this is really dating this video. Now everyone's going to be like, what movie is he talking about? Because clearly none of you guys have ever seen it. So, um, wow. Yeah, you guys are like three probably. But anyway, the, the papillary dermis is filled with cells and no violation of the basement membrane. These are mast cells. You can see that they're fried eggs and at higher power they have little granules. And what stains will stain mast cells? CD117 or C-Kit? Leader stain? Gamesa stain? Good, all those things. Tall blue, which is more or less like a variation of, of uh, on some of those stains, okay. And um, uh, you can do all this. And mast cell triptase also will stain these, okay? So what if I did a kit and all this stuff's positive, but I see scattered kit positive cells right along the basal layer. So does that mean it's, you know, infiltrating the epidermis? What would that mean? What would positive kit cells be? Melanocytes. Even? Melanocytes. See, you guys are too. Yeah, melanocytes normally stain with kit. A lot of people don't know that. And guess what? Metastatic melanoma will stay with kit, including metastatic melanoma. It's the GI tract. So don't use kit by itself for gist, okay? If you're a general surgeon, I'll just use S100 plus kit or use dog one, which is much more specific. But someone much better than me told me they once called something a malignant gist that it was metastatic melanoma. And it was, so use that S100, okay? It's important to know those pitfalls. This is mastocytosis. And then clinically, I let them sort out whether it's TMAP, urticaria pigmentosa. When they're real cellular like this, it usually means they're a younger patient. It's probably urticaria pigmentosa or a solitary mastocytoma. But the clinical, I just say mastocytosis and let the clinical sort out. Okay. And if you have cells involved in the epidermis, think of Langerhans. At high power, Langerhans looks quite different from mastocytosis. But 